generally speaking, you're free till you're about four years old. And then uh, five around. So then you go to grammar school, and then you start becoming demanded and solved and orientated and shoved into areas. You lose what individualism you have. If you have enough, of course, you retain some of it. But most don't have enough, so you become watchers of game shows, you know, and things like that. And you work the eight-hour job with almost a feeling of goodness, like you're doing something. And you get married like marriage is a victory, and you have children like children is a victory. But most things most people do are a total grind, marriage, birth, children. It's something they have to do because there's nothing else to do. There's no glory in it, there's no steam, there's no fire. It's very, very flat. And the earth is full of them. And you're doing some dumb thing over and over and over again. You get caught into the stricture of what you're supposed to be and you have no other choice. You're finally molded and melded into what you're supposed to be. I didn't like this. And I didn't like the eight-hour job. I didn't even like the four-hour job, even though I couldn't get one. So I decided I'd rather starve, live on the edges of nowhere, than do anything at all, than become anything labeled. So, for 50 years, I was a scarecrow unlabeled, and now I'm supposed to be a writer. There is a loneliness in this world so great that you can see it in the slow movement of the hands of a clock. People so tired, mutilated, either by love or no love, People are just not good to each other, one-on-one. -on -one. The rich are not good to the rich. The poor are not good to the poor. We are afraid. Our educational system tells us that we can all be big-ass winners. It hasn't told us about the gutters or the suicides, or the terror of one person aching in one place alone, untouched, unspoken to, watering a plant. People are not good to each other. People are not good to each other. People are not good to each other. I suppose they never will be. Too much, too little. Too fat, too thin, or nobody. More haters than lovers. People are not good to each other. Perhaps if they were, our deaths would not be so sad.